Hello everyone, welcome to a small turbo channel. Today we're going to have a tutorial on how to create a jigsaw puzzle easily. Alright, so create jigsaw puzzle in particular in Google Classroom. So let's go to our classroom.google.com. Right, then open our class. Then let's proceed to the classwork tab. Create. Then, as you can see, we cannot see here um, jigsaw puzzle. So, all we have to do is go to book widgets. Now, if you have not if you have not added book widgets extension to your Google Chrome, of course you cannot see this. So, all you have to do is add, um, you need to add the uh, extension. So, for example, I am to remove this so that we can start over. Okay, let me go back to my classroom. Okay, so I am going to create a jigsaw puzzle. So, as you can see, I cannot locate here to where I am going to make my jigsaw puzzle. So, what I am going to do is, I have to go to google.com. You type book widgets. extension then you click on the first of the search results and you are in the Chrome Web Store just click add to Chrome add extension alright so it's already added here you can see it already here so we can pin that one so that we can see it in here so let's go back to our classroom just refresh by clicking and then just press enter then as you can see you have there the book widgets extension already so now what is book widgets so book widgets is a platform where it, all you have to do is you are going to sign up using any Gmail account uh, that you have that is active actually up and you are given free 30-day trial for this so in this book widgets you can make a lot of interactive activities for your students so there are okay there are templates already so templates all you have to do is you put your content so I have the jigsaw puzzle here so just click on that and then let's put a title so for example what's the title of our topic Asia for example so for example that's our topic then in a jigsaw puzzle uh, can you recall it it's it composes of pieces of a certain picture so just select the image if you have downloaded already your picture your image and you have saved it already in your computer just click choose image and if you don't have it yet just click find image online and just type map of Asia for example so these um, images here are owned by Pixabay so they are copyright free So 
something is wrong with our internet connection all right so map of asia so let me choose this one just click on it all right so if you want that your student might find it um might put an effort uh, to to fit uh, the pieces into a picture that certain picture that you want to um, be located by them you just increase the number of these like you're going to make it six but if you want to make it very easy for the students to guess just uh, put the least number of pieces right so for example that's um, that's ready now just click preview something is wrong with our wow oh, I have not selected the image let me do it again Just wait. All right. So it's uploading now. So we have the image already. Oh, there's no image. All right. So we have the image already. So this time we can preview. So, this is the map that you're going to um, give to your students or the jigsaw puzzle that you're going to give to your students and then they're going to uh, answer these uh, maybe for your introductory activity so that maybe you're going to ask your students uh, what could be our topic this um, um, today or whatever you want to ask to your students regarding this right and after you have answered it well I mean you you do it well that's uh, you can have these congratulations right so let's just delete on this because I, I just previewed it so after you have as after you are sat satisfied, just click share. We are from Google Classroom originally, right? So let's just share it back to Google Classroom. Just select. Then maybe you're going to tell your student from here, do this. Then just send to Google Classroom. You may put due date actually, but I personally don't want to put some due date. Alright, so after you have created the jigsaw puzzle, just close it. Then let's try to log in as a student. This time student so let me choose another account I'm going to be um, anyway I can choose here the classroom all right we are in the classroom now so my teacher is small terrible I'm just going to select and I have a classwork to do and this one the latest 
I'm going to answer this. Just click on this. I'm a student right now, huh? Alright, so I am a student now. I am trying to answer the jigsaw puzzle our teacher has sent. Alright, so this is the jigsaw puzzle. Let me see my teachers. Okay, this time I am the teacher. Just going to view. I did not ask my my student to submit it. Let me just see. Since I did not ask my student to since I didn't ask my student to submit it so this is just a sort of exercise for them motivation for them but if I going back to in here where is it going back to the big book widget so this I am now a teacher right so this is the classwork right so let me go back to book widgets this is a platform wherein you can make your interactive activities for your students let me edit it let me see if I can have it submitted for my student no, so this is just a plain activity. We cannot ask the student to submit it. Alright, so anyway, it's just very easy, right? So other activity, uh, other um, widgets in the book widgets can be, you can ask your students to submit the his or her work, just like here. So I ask... Where's that? So I asked my student here. So these are the, the activities that I send here in Google Classroom, and these are the uh, the activities that my students need to accomplish. So my students of the moment is only one Avila Trans Aslan, who I have not invited any other students yet. Alright, so that's how easy you can make you can make jigsaw puzzle in Google Classroom. Right? So I hope I hope I have imparted to you now another knowledge of um, in our new normal way of learning. Okay, so thank you so much for being with a small terrible channel. Bye-bye.